No, that, that's what I was going to say because last year you get a bubble fight. Mm -hmm. You turn pro in the bubble. Then you get another fight in Vegas. Then it was the Olympics. Yeah, the Olympics. So you take that, that break. Walk us through um, that moment because for a while there you, you didn't think you'd be able to go to, to the Olympics. Walk us through that moment and ha having to adjust and what, what that was like. Uh well I mean when I when I got the call that I was going I was I was psyched honestly I ain't gonna lie like I, growing up I always uh I always wanted to be an Olympian growing up but at the same time like even when I lost at the trials I always had like that that thought in my mind like you know I, it's it's not over ain't no way it could be over so I mean uh I was injured at the trials so you know I still fought through my injuries and 2020 I got healthy you know got my surgeries and on my show on both of my shoulders and uh. Uh, honestly, uh, when I got the call, you know, I was hyped, and uh, I, I I still had to fight June 12th. I got the dub, and then uh, I went to the Olympics. Uh, honestly, the transition was... It was, was announced like that fight week, wasn't it? Yeah. Wasn't it like the same week? It was the same week. It was the exact same week as fight week. And uh, honestly, it was uh, it was kind of hard getting used to the pace because, I mean, I had worked two years, like kind of like two and a half years or a year and a half, like trying to get, you know, used to the pro style, so... Uh, it, it was hard at first, and I felt like, you know, the reason I lost my fight was because I was still, you know, too pro-ish, honestly. I couldn't get a good, like, I couldn't get a good, like, I couldn't figure the guy out, like, in the first round. I didn't really figure him out till the third round. Honestly, that's when I started landing shots, but I wasn't trying to, you know, rush or run anything, run into anything because, you know, you know, because of the amateur style, so, honestly. So, Troy, when was it that you went back to your old school? Because they the article was published on the 25th of August, but... Yeah. I don't know if that was actually on the 25th yeah, of August. That was, it was on the 25th of August. I went okay. back to my elementary school. I went back in 2018, but uh, I went, you know, had to go back again and, you know, show love to, you know, my community and stuff like that. It's great. Uh, it was great, you know, seeing the young kids and, you know, you know it was great. Do you feel any pressure? Because uh, I feel like when people themselves are young and they're in a certain position, it, it can be tricky or difficult sometimes. Um, but do you feel any pressure? Because... Whether you like it or not, you are a role model, and you do have kids and other young fighters looking up to you. Uh, I mean, honestly, I I gonna say I feel pressure, but it's uh, it's like it's, it is a kind of little bit of pressure, you know. I gotta uh, always, you know, show that I'm, you know, doing the right. Thing. I gotta lead by example, and you know that means like doing the right thing at all times. I can't never like, you know, like lose lose focus on you know do anything. I got you know I always gotta. I was one of the first people to you know show them that it's a uh, you know it's a way out so you know i gotta continue to do that i can't fall off track so i wanted you to just uh tell me in your own words how it felt and what was it like because reading the article the author makes it seem as if kids were yelling your name yeah. high-fiving you like yeah. they were really excited to see you back and uh yeah i just want to know how that felt and how do you think so many of those kids know you uh well I mean uh I was on a lot of newspapers uh for going to the Olympics. So uh that could be a reason and honestly I was supposed to go in like in on June, back in June, but because of the uh the Steelers fight, I pushed it back. I was like, I gotta I gotta get in training camp. Not in June, but like in May. I was I gotta push it back. But honestly, uh 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 Dr. Zicios, uh, my, my principal, she loves me. Uh, you know, growing up I was bad. So uh, I was real bad in that school. So I got I got in trouble a lot. Not not for like fighting a lot. I just got in trouble because of uh, the stuff I used to say. So boxing was like disciplined me as well as hold fighting. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What you used to say, Tro? Because I was bad as hell in school. What you used to say? I used say? to say some crazy shit, man. Uh, I'm, I'll tell y'all one story. Back in like fourth grade, I'm walking laps. This white girl laughing at me. I told her, uh, I told her, shut up for I'll shoot you in your head. And uh, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. And uh, at, at I knew I was in trouble because, you know, when I get in trouble in school, my dad would come come come, come to the wreck like 30 minutes. Like, night, mm. like as soon as I get there, he'd come give him like, damn, um, I know I'm in trouble. He's like, why would you tell that little girl that? And then, you know, I'm, yeah. it's police there the next day and I'm in in-school suspension and stuff like that. But I had a lot of stories. But my my uh, my, my principal does a, does a lot uh, of work of like, you know, getting me known in the community and, you know, getting my name out there. So, uh, you know. And also my uh, my teammate Dara, my old teammate as well. She does a lot, you know, getting my name out there, you know, to the mayor and stuff like that. So uh, a lot of kids. Uh, then you know, honestly, I, I didn't really. So like each fight, you know, my uh, stock kind of raises up. 
So like I'll be uh, like just walking to the store or doing something and somebody, oh, hey, Troy, hey, Troy. And you know, I'm like, damn, like, shit, it, you know, it, it feels good though. It feels good. Wait, what so, I so you still live in Alexandria? Yeah, I still live in Alexandria, yeah. Okay, I, yeah. I didn't know you still live out there. Oh, yeah. so you just re come, you come out for camp, okay. Yeah, I come out for camp, but I only, I'm only there for two weeks and then I, I try not to be home no longer than two weeks and then, uh, uh, you know, I, I try to, you know, see family, you know, do events, stop by, stop by my home gym, you know, check on the kids, stuff like that, see how they doing. And, uh, you know, just really just chill with family for real, for real. And, uh, you know, I'll catch up with some friends. But, when the uh, time comes, yeah, where do you think you'll buy your first home? This right here is one of one of one of the places uh, either here, maybe Houston. Uh, I like Florida, but Florida. Them hurricanes, and they, you know, they destroyed my house. I don't, you know, I don't know. But uh, wait, wait, wait. So you have family back in Florida right now? No, no, no. So you talking about an older hurricane? No, nah, maybe you, a hurricane. Like, yeah. But I'm just, I'm just saying, like, you no, know, because I got a house in Florida. And I, I just lost my gate. Like oh, one oh, of, one of them. It wasn't even all. It four. wasn't that bad. Nah, man. Yo, people be over exaggerating. My okay. brother been out there like 15 years, three houses in, and and nothing, nothing. Happened. nothing. Okay. And you, uh, and, you and, and let me tell you, my wife was going crazy. Like, oh, we should hire somebody to, you know, because you could board up the wind. I'm like, man, fuck it. We, what we paying insurance for? You know yeah. what I'm saying? I left it like that. Ain't nothing come flying through the windows or nothing. Okay. Okay. I mean, I'm, I'm not. I mean, I mean, hey, I got Anything lucky too. I got it, lucky because yeah. <laughs> I, I seen Fort Myers was looking crazy. Uh, it got flooded out there. So, so you said Houston, is that, uh, I'm, I'm assuming you've been out there. Yeah, I was. I, I did training camps out there before I started going to Vegas. Okay. So with I mean, Shakur. Yeah, with at, Shakur. At Jay Prince Gym. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, I like I like the prices down there. They got real good prices for mm-hmm. houses down there. So you can't you can't nice beat square them. square footage. Yeah, you can't beat that. Huge property too. Like yeah. here, some houses it's like you could high five your neighbor out the window and shit. Right. What up, YouTube family, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Help us get to that million subscribers. We're on the road to a million, and Obviously, we have other great content on our Patreon channel. So since this video is over, head on over to our Patreon and check out all the exclusive content or right here on our YouTube members.